Okay. Okay, we are back. Time for a little promo. If you're wondering uh, how is the how would be would be the best way to join our organization and become a part of our organization. Well, this is it. This is how you join our organization. By simply going to newslettercensor.com and getting your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work for the newsletter that started it all founded by the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman in 1977. This is how you join us. Okay, this is what we're all about. So get your subscription now with your gift to support this work. Just go to newslettercensored.com and all the instructions are there. You need Newsletter Censored. We are living in the end times and you need Newsletter Censored to learn how to defeat a conservative and also to learn what is really in the Bible. Not what right-wing uh, zealot, fundamentalist, uh, counterfeit, uh, conservative Christians tell you it's in the Bible, but what actually is in the Bible. And you will hear, I mean, you will read information that you're not going to find anywhere in today's mainstream media concerning uh, the five taboos of American life, politics, religion, human sexuality, health care, and child rearing. Okay, so get newsletter censored now, because you need it. Okay, now, this gentleman to my left, see, this guy right here, this is a self-portrait of my co-host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. It is a uh, watercolor painting, and you can view the entire William J. Eisenman collection by simply going to, and this is all one word, lowercase, William J. Eisenman Collection dot Tumblr dot com. Tumblr. T U M B L R. William J. Eisenman Collection .tumblr .com. and if you see anything you like just simply uh, leave a message at the painting with your email or go to newslettercensor.com and, and, and send Dr. Bill a message and if he still has the painting if it's still available you can procure an authentic watercolor painting signed by William J. Eisenman Okay. Make a sizable, decent gift to support this work. Um, we um, we have a new, remodeled, tweaked. It never looked better. Uh, Facebook page. You know the the pages, the promo page that you can click like. We're talking about the newsletter censored page. Looks better than ever go there and click like and join us. Uh, it's also connected to the Progressive Hard Hitting Truth Facebook group. We also have Holistic Health Talk Facebook page. Uh, and we have others. We have one called Everything is Food, which it has to do with food and drink. And there's one that we have a brand new group that's just for fun, just for goofing around called uh, any anything and everything goes at this group. It's called this page is a is about nothing. This page is about nothing. I'm sorry. This group, this group is about nothing. Mm -hmm. Named after the, uh, the the famous Seinfeld episode about a show being about nothing. And it is. It's about nothing. It it, it could be whatever you feel like talking about. It could be a stroll down memory lane. It could be something funny, you know, a funny, satiric, comical cartoon, photograph, banner, 
you have, if you want to vent and get something off your chest, you can do that there. But it's not particularly about anything serious. You know, it's just there to to do whatever. You know, when you feel like you want to escape, you want to get a little, a little wild and crazy, and you want to be funny about something. You want to wild and crazy guys. <laughs> so anyway, um, and then of course, the uh, God Project and uh, Censored Archive Classics under Mega Life 21. Uh, you will never miss a reading by the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman because they are on the internet via YouTube and Google. Now, it, it never ceases to amaze me just how many sickening sycophants, suck-ups, ass-kissers of all kinds are out there. Spineless jellyfish. I see them online all the time, especially Facebook. Um, and uh, also, people not only suck, suck ups and sycophants, there are many backstabbers that will do whatever they can, underhanded tactics, to improve their lot in life, to improve their standard of living to curry favor with a person who's in charge, they make me sick. Instead of getting ahead based on their merits, if they have any, they have to use these underhanded tactics um, to get there. Could be stirring up trouble, making up lies, you know, rumors, uh, tattletailing, uh, and also people that go with whatever's popular. I know people like that. Like whatever's in, whatever whatever seems to be popular at the moment, they go with it. I know those are, are, are those those people who must buy the most recent Apple product. Yeah. They have to have the most recent everything. Whatever's in vogue, they have to have. It's like a person, if a certain team wins the World Series, all of a sudden they run off to the sporting goods store and they have to buy the cap. Even though it's not their the home. Jersey. It's not in the jersey. Even though it's not their home team. Because it's the in thing to do. Mm. These are weasels. Sickening sycophants. Let me be a little bit more right. accurate, yeah? Yeah, sickening sycophants is a fancy way of saying ass kisser. Now, uh, sir, is uh, is Gary Knoll's popular term uh, adaptive supporter a sycophant? I would say so. Is there is there, is it an actual psychological term I can look up? Adaptive supporter. Not if you're not if you're uh, not looking in uh, Gary Knoll. No, like a Freudian psychology. No. It's it's um, no. uh, adaptive supporter. Is Freud would probably call it something else. Reich would call it something else. But it would be the same character. It sounds. It sound. The description sounds similar to what I just explained. Probably. Yeah. I know it would. Yeah. Like a person who is a who is a a a born follower. Who must, who must follow what people around him or her are doing, or whatever is popular at the time. You know, it could be fashion. Um, you know, it, like I was watching this commercial about a mother. It was kind of like a back-to-school commercial, and the mother was saying, "Oh, I got to get, you know, I I go to this place because." I have to keep my kids in style when they go back to school. The kids, the kids like Arizona jeans. Whatever happened to saying no to your child? No, I'm not going to buy you designer jeans for school. I'm not going to buy Arizona jeans. I'm going to get you ten dollar Walmart or Kmart jeans. They look great. They're durable. There's nothing wrong with them. They cost ten bucks, and this is what you're going to wear. Whatever happened to Lee and Levi and, you know, 
Oh yeah. Lee's Levi it's Strauss. Right. It's only goddamn dungaree. Right. That's well. That's why I am proud to announce that my ten dollar Walmart or Kmart, uh, you know, Route sixty six brand or whatever. My ten dollar L cheapo jeans look the same. They're denim. They're durable. They fit great. They're comfortable. There's nothing wrong with them. So, why on earth they come in all different cuts? Oh. <coughs> Ragweed season is upon us. They come in all different cuts, whether it be loose fit, yeah. relaxed fit, or the standard straight leg. Tighten the crotch fit. Tighten the crotch fit, like Billy Morrow likes. <laughs> Tighten the ass, ass crack and crotch. Oh my God. The point is, there's nothing wrong with them. Why pay for the name? Why? Because all the other people in your school, in your classroom have it, and they suckered their parents into buying it for them? Mm -hmm. Whatever happened to saying no mm -hmm. to your kids? Or to any lobbying group? Just say no to a lot of things, not just drugs. No, you can't have it. No, it's not fair. I don't. What you're what you're um, promoting is not fair to all. Yeah, right. Say no to lobbyists. Say no to Republicans. Well, now you're asking people to stand up. Yeah, and be counted. Have a backbone. See how hard this this deer yeah. antler is. Grow a spine of titanium. Ninety-five percent of people don't have that. How many percentage? About 95. That many? Yeah. Have no balls or, or spine? Yeah. Interesting. 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 Give me one of those too. Interesting. Excuse me. You want a tissue also? Okay. Yes, I do. You, did you see the, um, the picture of, of, that I posted on the group of the first bacon condom? Bacon condom? Yeah, I think the company is, I forget, B and K or B &G. What the hell are you going to do? Eat the damn thing? That's what it's, it's meant. Come in. It's meant to be edible after the guy comes in it. It's edible for women. Oh women that are not God. vegan. Now, if you're vegan and you're having sex, you know, oral sex or whatever, you got to, then there's a problem. But if you're not vegan, I guess it's meant to be uh, edible. Oh, since God. since so many bacon uh, since so many people are bacon lovers out there, me included. <coughs> you know? Honk. Honk. I mean it's not a joke. I, it's a real condom. But I'll ring the levity bells anyway. House Republicans. Oh god are preparing legislation that would cut food stamps by as much as four billion dollars. Oh, but they're not cutting their, their food and, and uh, coffee and beverage didn't that, budget. Didn't that program for that tank that nobody wants, was that like five billion? And they wouldn't dare to cut that. That was already spent? Well, they mean, were they, going to keep the program in effect. Oh, no really? Matter what. Yeah. I thought tanks. They weren't going to cut the five, five billion. I thought tanks, um, like tanks are obsolete. Like battleships were obsolete. They are. There's a weapon that we have. We use it in Iraq. Where it's something that like attaches to all the tanks in a uh, squadron or whatever they call it, and it blows them all up at the same time. Is it is it is it placed by robotics? I don't know how it's placed, but we use it. We decimated the tank core in Iraq. Well, then tanks are obsolete. That's correct. Even even many ships, even many warships are are, are not really, you know, you well, know. Look it, how much protection you got to have for a uh, 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 the one with the planes on it. Aircraft, aircraft carrier. carrier. Aren't there subs that follow an aircraft carrier? There's Nuc everything. Nuclear subs. They're not, well, they're definitely not obsolete. Nuclear subs are No, they're are. not obsolete to go and bring the plane closer to your 
your object, your target. Well, plus... But getting it there safely is the problem. Plus, a nuclear sub is, is the modern-day missile silo because it is very, very mobile and can reach its target, constantly moving, changing its location. And you I know, believe one sub, one sub used to be the Poseidon. I don't know what they yeah. have today. But one of them could Tr take out the world. Trident? The missiles that it had. Trident, Th yeah. There's that, ma that many missiles could fit on one sub? That's what they said. I don't know. You're talking yeah. about nuclear warheads. Nuclear warheads, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. Aircraft carriers are important because they can, yes, they can get in very close to the target. target. They're important in what you would call a conventional war, but the next war will not be conventional, as the Bible says. Nuclear weapons will be used. Okay? So you're talking, you're talking real destruction, baby. Yeah. Real destruction. One third of humanity dead. Dead and dying because uh, pestilence and 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 and, 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 and you know like radiation sickness and etc. Oh my gosh! And you and you believe that uh, the Christians, I mean, the saved people, will not be raptured up and spare the tribulation? Of course not. None of them are going to be spared. No one will be spared the tribulation except the elect. One hundred forty-four thousand. One hundred forty-four thousand that were that will be. Resurrected right. to God, dumb, when Jesus comes down. And 144,000 is literally 144,000. Correct. Now, it doesn't mean something Twelve from else. each tribe. Yeah. Twelve from each tribe. That's what it's all about. It's to those who have already proven themselves. Mm -hmm. They will, in a twinkling of an eye, be turned into God, spirit beings. That's all. The rest of humanity, you know, will be dead. We live through till the millennium, etc., etc. They're going to get killed. Then there's two resurrections. You're going to get killed. At it. There's a resurrection, you know, after the millennium. There's the resurrection of the dry bones. I believe it's in the Ezekiel. Dry bones? Yeah, which I believe is all of the ancient Israel. Okay. Because ancient Israel would not believe. They would not have faith. Yeah, though they had the law. They had the law. But they did not have faith or belief. Ah. Uh, okay. So they were cut off, man. They were put aside. Put aside. So they will have their resurrection to flesh. Flesh. Ah. Uh, and judgment. Oh. But the 144,000 are immediately going to spirit being. Immediately. Okay. I dig. I dig what you. So that's man. not quite a rapture, man. No, I I dig where you where you're coming from. But it's going to be a. Well, actually, there won't be. But there should be a lot of digging during the tribulation. But people will be too weak to bury the dead. The fowls of the air will have a feast. The buzzards. The buzzards. Otherwise known as the vultures, that eat carrion. And I don't mean carry-on luggage going onto a plane. Yeah. Levity, levity. In an effort to downsize the program <clears throat> that many conservatives say has become too bloated. Yeah, because there are a lot more poor in the world, in the country today. Oh, but their salaries are not too bloated. The defense budget is not too bloated for Republicans. Yeah. And That's subsidies. not too bloated. No, 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 no. Their, their food bill paid for by taxpayers is not too bloated. Mm. Their vacation pay. Their vacation pay. Paid by the taxpayer. Oh, is that so? So what the hell else do you think pays so for? They, so when these these whores, these bums go away for a month and take the whole month off? Five weeks. Five weeks? Oh, 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 not a month. Five weeks. Five weeks. Where else do you see The taxpayers are paying for these vacations? Yeah. Where else do you see these vacations, type of vacations? Normal human beings in the United States only have two weeks. If that... Now in Europe you have some people with four, maybe five weeks. But you know what it seems like? 
everything they do is is straight from the hip, in your face, easy to see, easy to understand. But the media, the media gives them so much face time when they when they complain and bitch and moan about things, about the poor and about helping people and every, everything and it, about their crazy religiosity. And their facts are never correct. Their facts are never correct and the, the media exactly. gives them constant airtime but I never see the media give the truth and, and liberals airtime. I saw a, uh, what was she? Either a mayor or a congressperson in some state, some it looked like a woman, actually, but uh, later on they referred to it as a guy, a big hulking guy with blonde hair. You come up there and blame him, Obama's a socialist, all of these socialist policies. Yeah, but that, that wasn't the Congress responsible for spending, not so much Obama? Well, what the hell is that socialism? Obama is a corporatist, not a socialist, not a communist. No, well, Bernie Sanders is farther to the left than Barack Obama. Jeez. And I, I love him. He's great. Oh, yeah, well, the guy was trying to put him down the other day who said, you know, you want to raise the minimum wage, who's going to pay for that? Who's going to you know pay who's for, it? pay for it? The rich bastards are going to pay for That's it. That's right. You, the you, corporation making all the big profits. You heard, you heard how much uh, Walmart makes? They can't give raises. Uh, they can't pay a a, 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 a decent a wage. decent living wage to they the can. average American worker. They can't pay that. They can, and they would have in the old days. Twenty, would you say? More. Each Walmart family. Eighty billion probably a e year. Each Walmart family made twenty billion, 20 billion dollars in 2012. Now you mean to tell me they can't pay a living wage? Of course they can. And then they complain. To. Who's gonna pay for that? So some other, uh, some other teabagger said to me in the family said to me, "Oh, oh, you want a health, a good health care for all? Well, who's gonna pay for that? Oh, it's okay for the rich to have the best health care. Who's gonna pay for it? Who do you think's gonna pay for it? Who paid for the Iraq, Afghanistan wars? Who Ta paid for Wall Street? Tax the bailouts. Who's paying now? I believe it's." Uh, is it 20? 20 billion dollars? It's probably 80 billion dollars a month by Bernanke over there in the Fed? Putting out every month free money? Hey, it's okay. They always it's okay have, to do that. They always have plenty of money for welfare for the rich, Wall Street bailouts yeah. and subsidies. There's always plenty of money for that. Yeah. But, God forbid, a few crumbs to help the poor out, social services? Let's try to get an accurate picture here. Let's understand something. When George W. Bush took office in 2001, there was no deficit. No. Bill Clinton uh, sexual escapades or not left us with a surplus and he was a corporatist too left us with a surplus he, 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 when he didn't listen to Larry Summers he did certain things correct but listening to Larry Summers the evil beast that's when all the bad stuff occurred couldn't, couldn't. stuff for his big boy couldn't he see where Larry Summers was coming from and just tell Larry Summers to fuck off? Take a hike. Take a hike? No, he couldn't. He but why not? It's easy. I just said it. didn't have that information. I just said it. Fuck you. Take a hike. He didn't have that information. Actually, nobody did. It was just information to benefit the big boys. That's all it was. Like the flat tax from from uh, Mr. Forbes. The flat tax yeah. just just benefits the, the big boys. A group of Republicans led by the House Majority Leader Eric Cantor Another scumbag. Plans to try to advance the legislation as early as next month. It, 
advance? Oh yeah, when he comes back from vacation. From vacation. It's Republican He'll stuff. have nine days to do that work. Oh yeah, that that's their that's their the the time they work in for the month of August, nine days? Or is it two days? Huh? They are not working for the month of August. So they, they are on vacation. So they they, they ran out yesterday so down the steps of, of the Congress. Didn't you see them? Rather quickly? Rather quickly. So they what you're trying to tell me is they they sim similar to many teachers, they take the whole summer off completely, except they they complain teachers are making too much money. But they, they sure like the... Actually, teachers work a hell of a lot more hours than a senator or Republican. Especially these, the Republicans. Right. Senator or congressman. Yeah, like I told you, it's, 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 uh, it's a bad thing to use the term work and earn when you're dealing with Republicans. Yeah, You cannot true. get an accurate reading it's when very you use those terms. inaccurate. Now, let me ask you a question. Ed Schultz, does he discuss any of this on his show? Ed Schultz is for the working man. Does he ever bring so this up? So he discusses up? all this stuff. He, does he bring up the fact that they're always on vacation and, and they don't do any work? Yes. But you see, the problem is Ed Schultz does not reach every human being in America. Neither does anyone. And That's the unfortunate thing. And the news media on the major networks, CBS, NBC, and ABC, and the local stations do not mention any of the shenanigans that the Republicans do. Well, you see, the problem is... Except for Lionel on China, WPIX. The stations you're talking about, the people, the news reporters that said it, they believe that you're dealing with two parties with different opinions. They do not understand that the Republican Party is evil. They are demons. Their sights are set on the poor. Psalm 10 verse 2, Psalm 10 verse 8. Mm -hmm. Okay. They don't understand that part of it. They believe that there's two equal parties mm -hmm. with different opinions. So, you know, we give uh, this guy his say, we'll give this guy his say. Yeah. We'll have a station for this guy, well, we'll have a station for this I guy. Mean, I mean, Democrats are too easy on Republicans. Like, Nancy Pelosi had something to say the other day that was quite accurate, but she said it in a very diplomatic way. That, that's not how you treat the forces of evil. Correct. And, and, and I'll bet you she got jumped on really good. Of course. Ooh. But she but she she's too wishy-washy. <laughs> because you know why? It's the same old story. Please don't because don't hate me. I don't want people to disapprove of me. You know, I mean, that's how they are. These a lot effect, of liberals. They are all corporatists. So they are all guilty. So they don't want so to rock. Gotta be careful of drawing these spotlights. So they don't want to. They don't want to rock the boat too much. Exactly. Because they all have campaign contributions. Skeletons. Skeletons in the, in the closet, and they all have campaign contributions, right? Uh huh. Yeah, but wouldn't you become more popular if you went national and told the real truth, and then wouldn't the people like really? Would you really be getting publicity? Possibly, but how is that possible? This is one of the system changes that has to be made. Taking money to politics. Taking money out of politics. There has to be a way. It's the same thing with let. Let's put it like for education. There has to be a way of allowing every single individual in America access to information, <coughs> to education. To new products, to whatever. The system of information <clears throat> must be broad enough. Should be free. Well, it obviously should be free. And should be broad enough for anyone to tap into it at any time. That's right. 
That's right. Like, um, uh, then you will know about your independent candidates. It's cer certain Latin American countries, maybe even Europe, 